This is our second video reviewing the Feature Edit Toolbar. In this video we're going to review uh, some of our uh, line and vertice editing tools. So in the last video uh, we had gone over uh, the Feature Edit uh, Toolbar settings. Uh, this is the toolbar we're talking about and we had gone into this dialog and we had set up our auto Z uh, conflation task and again this is where we are conflating uh, or matching up the uh, feature to the point cloud surface. Uh, so previously uh, we couldn't toggle this on and off now when we're uh, doing any kind of edits or we're creating uh, features from scratch we can uh, conflate to the surface if we want. Uh, again, there's also the option to enable AutoZ constant mode. Uh, if you remember from last time in the settings, uh, I just clicked on uh, our feature edit options dialog. In the AutoZ tab, you can also set a constant value. So when you're doing the edits that we're about to be doing, you could be setting the uh, feature to a constant elevation. So uh, as you can see I've used the toe extractor uh, point cloud task to uh, create this toe. Um, I can already see we have a few issues potentially. Let me go ahead and uh, toggle the last display off. Uh, I can see that that toe is running up the ramp there a little bit. Um, and also I, I see another issue where uh, we might have some material on the edge that we've left out of the um, of our potential volume calculation that we're going to be doing here. So uh, to start with, let's select the feature. I'm uh, choosing the screen arrow option. Now we have the option to just click on the feature to select it, but we can also uh, lasso it, so I'm just left clicking and holding to make that lasso. Uh, you have some different options on um, how you can uh, multi-select uh, with this one drawing a square. This one uh, you uh, manually make the polygon by left clicking. You're not just holding down the left mouse button, you're actually clicking and double clicking to finish. Uh, we'll just stick with the lasso function. So I've selected this feature. Um, the initial uh, button here, uh, this first option is uh, selecting edit vertices. When I click on that, um, it's going to highlight all the individual vertices. I'm going to zoom in. You can see with the toe extractor, uh, we have quite a bit of vertices. Um, again, we can use the simplified geometry tool. We talked about this in the last uh, video, the settings for this. Uh, so if you select uh, this feature and, and click on simplified geometry, we can get rid of some of those vertices. But uh, let's uh, go over this uh, select and edit vertices tool. So if I zoom in here, as you, as you can see, if I, if I hover over the vertice, um, I can, a little hand icon will pop up and I can actually left click and hold and drag this vertice wherever I want. Because our auto Z uh, button is depressed, you can see the, the little green arrow pointing down. Uh, that means it's active. That means as I move these vertices, it's going to try to conflate to the surface. Now if I had that off, okay. I just left clicked off the feature. I'm going to click back on the feature. I'm still in this select edit vertices mode here because uh, I have that button depressed. Um, now as I move these um, vertices, it's just going to interpolate um, in between uh, it's the vertices on, on, on either side of uh, the vertice that I've moved. It's going to use the elevations of those um, for this this vertice I've just moved. So uh, it doesn't matter where I move it. If I move it on top of the stockpile, um, because the auto Z is off, uh, it shouldn't try to conflate to the surface. So let's try. Let's look at this. I'm going to look at this in the 3D view. 
I'm going to go ahead and tend that. You can see how it just cut underneath because I'm just interpolating uh, that elevation. It's just using, like I said, uh, just a second ago, it's just using those elevations of the vertices to the sides of it. Um, this over here, we, we had the auto Z on, so it's conflating to the surface when I move these. Let's just go ahead and move another uh, vertice to demonstrate this again. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to turn the auto Z on. Let's move it on top of the pile. This is not something you would want to do, just showing you how this works. Um, and to, to save this so I can look at this in the, the 3D view, um, I, I have the option to save the feature edits that I've done. Um, I also have the option to discard the feature edits permanently. Um, also, I have an undo redo. So I don't know if you noticed earlier, but I hit the floppy disk to save those edits so I can look at the changes that I made in the 3D view. Um, <clears throat> so uh, there's no way for me to undo those edits that I'd already done. Um, you can see I can undo and redo the edit I just did. Let's just go ahead and save this edit even though it's not something we probably want to do. I'm going to go ahead and draw another 3D window right there. You can see how because I had the Auto Z on it's going to try to conflate to the surface for that vertice. All right. And I can just go in and put these vertices right back where they were. Turn the auto Z. I'm going to keep the auto Z on. I'm just holding down the scroll wheel and panning. Just move all these back. And then I'm going to save my edits. And they'll go right back where they were on the auto Z to the surface. Zoom out just a touch here. Now I'm going to uh, select that same button. If I select the vertices, I can right click. It's going to give me the option I can delete the vertex. Um, I can select all vertices. I can unselect all vertices. There's just a few different options in here. If you right click, uh, you can uh, set the vertice to a, a specific elevation. You can shift it um, in a direction. So let's say I wanted to drop the toe of this uh, stockpile down um, six inches, something like that. I knew that the actual uh, base of the stockpile was lower than the point cloud surface that I'm seeing. So I could come in here and say negative six, and it's going to drop it uh, actually uh, six inches. It's just going to be a. Um, We'll just say half a foot. How about that? So negative 0.5, then we'll drop it half a foot. Okay. For that vertice. Now, if I selected all of them or I selected the whole feature, um, you can uh, move all of them in a specific direction. Uh, we also have the add vertice button. So. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. When I start clicking, I'm going to left click. Immediately, it's going to add a new vertice uh, where I clicked on the line. And uh, you can see I have the ability. I'm just left clicking, holding. I have the ability to immediately drag it to wherever I wanted to. So let's say uh, I wanted to make some new vertices and drag them around this, uh, uh, this feature. I can do that. I can also grab existing vertices and move them over that direction. You see how the little hand icon comes up. So pretty easily move those around that little uh, bit of material on the edge of the stockpile. And you can see this is pretty arduous to do it like this. This is really only good for doing um, you know, if, if you didn't have as many vertices for a feature or um, you're just wanting to just to just add a few vertices, you weren't, you weren't making, you know, a whole bunch of edits like I just made, like, you know, maybe a dozen edits. Um, it's really not good for something like that. So let's go ahead and undo. We can see how I can easily undo and redo these feature edits. Um, of course, we have the delete vertice button to the right of that. 
I can just click on individual vertices. It's going to automatically delete them. I can left click and hold and do a multi select, delete a whole bunch of vertices at once. Um, I can easily undo that. Now this is the tool for for this kind of situation uh, that you'll more than likely be using the reshape geometry tool. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Uh, I've got the feature selected. I can see the individual vertices uh, and how you would use this tool. You'll left click on um, one side of the polygon and you're going to be editing the the vertices to the right of the direction you're drawing. So uh, because I started here, I'm left clicking. I'm, I'm, the areas that I'm left clicking, uh, I'm basically creating a new extent for the stockpile toe. So it's going to remove uh, this little section here um, and then it's going to be replaced by the shape that I'm drawing right now. I have Auto Z on, so it's going to conflate to the surface. Let me go ahead, go ahead and finish clicking here. So notice I started on one side of the polygon, click through it. I'm clicking the shape shape that I want the the new the stockpile to have now, and then I will just left click on the other side to finish. Well, double left click actually. So double left click. You can see there's my new stockpile extent. Again, it's going to be editing things to the right of the direction I'm drawing. So uh, let's say. Let's say I started to draw um, this direction. Well, it's going to basically remove um, the entire rest of this uh, stockpile toe except for this little section that I'm actually trying to edit. So let's double click, let's see what happens. Uh, so I start on one side, double click on the, the other side that I'm drawn to to finish, double left click, and you can see I've basically done the opposite of what I wanted to do. So don't panic if that happens. Like I said, it's really easy to do, undo and redo feature edits. So that's how the reshape geometry uh, tool works. Let's say uh, you were uh, wanting to edit a feature um, with this uh, reshape geometry tool um, and you weren't wanting to auto-z, you wanted to interpolate the elevation in between the areas that you're editing, you simply just unclick the auto Z, go ahead and draw your edit, and double click to finish. There we go. Uh, let's say, um, well, crap, um, I actually meant to um, auto Z that section. You know, do I need to go back and redraw it? Do I need to undo and redo? That's not necessary. Um, so with this, again, with the Select Edit Vertice option, I'm left-clicking, holding, I can select multiple vertices. I'm going to right-click. You can apply the uh, um, Auto-Z surface at any time. You can also interpolate. So I'm just going to go ahead and save these edits for now. I'm going to click this feature again with the Select Edit Vertice option. <coughs> again, I'm dragging and selecting uh, these vertices. I'm going to right click so I can go back to the opposite of, I mean I can just interpolate the elevation of this vertice and this vertice on this side um, so I can you can uh, undo and redo your uh, auto Z as much as you want. Alright so now I'm going to zoom out just a touch. Let's draw a profile line So I'm just left clicking on one side, left clicking on the other side, um, determining my width, and then I just left click again to finish. It's going to create my profile line. Let's actually make it along the um, the edge of the feature so we can get, get as many points as, as we can. So let's uh, again I am uh, using the Select edit vertices to show the individual vertices as you can see in the profile view. I'm going to zoom in. We can see all those individual vertices. Uh, I can move them up and down. Um, all these same tools apply. Okay. The reshape geometry tool. See, I just tried to use it. That's not going to work, but your um, edit 
select edit vertices, your um, add vertices and remove vertices. That's all that's, that's going to work in the profile view. Okay. Notice how I'm only able to move these up and down. I can't move them left and right. Uh, you can set it uh, to where you can do this in the, the settings uh, and the, the feature edit options. So go to geometry. Um, if we look at uh, the profile settings, we can allow horizontal vertex movement. Uh, most people, when they're doing edits in the, the profile view, they're not wanting to have the ability to do that. That's why it's unchecked by default. Uh, but you can check that if you wanted to. So uh, this is just a brief introduction on uh, some of those uh, tools for selecting and editing uh, vertices uh, and changing the shapes of these uh, uh, polygon uh, lines. In our next video, we're going to go over uh, splitting the uh, geometry, so basically turning this uh, into uh, multiple stockpiles, um, and uh, we'll uh, use some of the uh, tools that we've already discussed to uh, do some more edits.